and smash that like button. Oh hey. my gosh, we're live. We're live. Wow. Okay. So hi there. I'm Chris. <laughs> she was nervous, by the way. <laughs> I'm very nervous, yes. but we're going to get right into this. We are at Richard's aunt's house in Kalispell, Montana. And the reason that we're here yep. is we're waiting. We're, whoa, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're waiting for, we're waiting for my computer. My computer, as you guys heard from last week, my computer died. It needed to be fixed. It had to be shipped off back to Apple and then back here. And it's a, uh, it was just battery, I guess, but yes, it was a, I, I custom ordered that, that computer yes. to get and it's it supposed used to what be, it is. It's supposed to be here tomorrow at noon. Mm -hmm. So we, here's the deal. We're planning on um, doing this live today. We'll have Richard's computer tomorrow. We'll get back to editing. Yep. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to circle all the way back from Montana to Utah. We'll which... be back in Utah <laughs> next week, we, basically. We have a lot of videos stacked up that uh, we want to get out to you guys. So it's going to be a little weird that you think we're, we're not wandering around Utah right now in 120 degrees or whatever no, it is there. But no, no. But somebody so, will comment that we are. Yes. So I'm sure. <laughs> I, we thought we would take this opportunity to answer some questions that we get all the time. So the first one is, Richard, tell us your story. Tell us my story. Yes. In 10 words or less. In 10 words or less. <laughs> well, I can't do that. What what story are we talking about? Okay, so t um, have you both ridden motorcycles? Oh, our oh our motorcycle ones. We even rehearsed all this <laughs> prior to this. All right, so I'll so. tell you I'll tell you my story. Okay. <laughs> um, I grew up in the boonies of Michigan, and right across the street was hundreds of acres of Boy Scout land. So in the summer it was motorcycle riding, in the winter it was snowmobiling, and um, you know. So when the kids came along, I got out of motorcycle riding yeah. until our youngest turned 16. And then we got back into it. And we haven't stopped since. That's my story. That's your story. Yep. So I was raised in Arizona and I rode dirt bikes all over the desert and everything. But she, Chris just kind of alluded to the fact that she just rode, rode dirt bikes for a little <laughs> while. And then all of a sudden she had kids and everything. Well, <laughs> she actually moved from Michigan down to Albuquerque, New Mexico on her. What was it? It was a 500 CX 500. I think so. The one with the transverse, the, the one that looked like a Moto Guzzi motor, but that was a Honda. Yeah. Yeah. That's when I met her. So I've been riding dirt bikes and riding, I've been riding for forever. I was probably the only kid in a, a sophomore in high school riding my uncle's 1968 Triumph with a seven inch rake on it. So I was, uh, I was probably the only one that had th that had those bikes. Anyways, um, then, Chris and I met Chris. I want to tell you guys how I met Chris. Oh my gosh. So Chris and I lived in the same apartment complex. And when I first met her, when I first saw her, she got out of her Camaro Z28 in her business suit and her little briefcase looking all cute. And when she got done with that, she goes up to her apartment, comes back out of her apartment. She's got full leathers on. She's got leather pants. She's got a 357 strapped on her hip. And she's ready to go off for a motorcycle ride for the day. And I told my roommate, I said, that girl's mine. He said, you're not going to, she doesn't want a mechanic like you. And here it is 32 years later. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, the 357 was right here because I oh, had that's right. You had a shoulder, shoulder hat. You had a shoulder yeah. harness. And, so, okay. And it was the wrong type of gun for me because as you can <laughs> see, I'm very skinny. So you had this like the handle of the 357 like sticking you were printing. out. printing. <laughs> you were printing is yes. what it was. Yes. All right. Moving on. All right. Um, is someone asked a question, is this something that you're planning on doing for 10 or 20 years? 10 or 20 or years. Or will you, or cr you crazy kids settle down at some point? So here's the deal. We want to do this while we are still physically able to do yes, this. Yes, for sure. So who knows? I mean, 10 or 20 years. I mean, I might be in the rocking chair by then. Yeah, but, I don't know about 10 or 20 years. Yeah. We, for, for now, for sure. We're taking it. Um, a year at a time is what we're mm -hmm. doing and assessing, you know, how we're handling the, the travel that we're doing, you know, how are we doing physically, how are we doing mentally and mm -hmm. right now we're rocking and rolling so yep. we've got everything planned out until, until January. January at least, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah, 
For sure. I think our biggest struggles, our biggest struggle that we are having is a place to find warm weather, which is odd right now because it's hot, hot everywhere, everywhere in the United we're in, States. We're in Kalispell and it's still, it's going to be 100 degrees tomorrow. Yeah. It's crazy. But in the winter, our biggest struggle with the way we live in a tent type situation is to find some place cold, uh, warm mm -hmm. to, you know, we thought about going to Florida. But that was out of our price our price range. You know, we if you followed us long enough, you guys know that we're trying to do this on a shoestring budget mm -hmm. as we build up the YouTube channel in the hopes that, you know, that will kind of supplement what it is that we're trying to do with our lives and with the channel. So we wintered in Arizona this past year, and it's very cold and very Well, we were in Bisbee. <laughs> we were in Bisbee, which, you know, we're... We're soon to be mastering elevation. Yes. And then next, we'll, we're, we're now moving more up on the longitude. So we're learning that also now. Yes. <laughs> All right. We're ready for the next question. All right. What's the next question? Next, so if somebody or one of you guys wanted to take an extended motorcycle trip, um, what are the important things that we have discovered? Uh, the first thing is we rec highly recommend that you go out and watch YouTube because you, you're probably not going to get all the ins and outs of how to do a long extended motorcycle trip from, from mm -hmm. us. You know, we just don't have time to do those, unfortunately. Um, one of the things that I would recommend that is very important is to know your why. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing this? Yeah, why do you want to do this? Um, yeah, is it you want to have one last adventure? You mm -hmm. want to save money. You, um, you know, you want to have a fresh start. You want to try something totally different than what you're currently doing. But here's the key to knowing your why. It's why it's so important is that when you get out there and something happens, and it's we Richard always and I always say this to each other. It's not. It's not if something bad is going to happen, it's when it's when, going to happen. Because it will happen. Yeah. And so if you know your why, when that thing happens, you know, motorcycle breaks or computer breaks or, or you lose GoPros or whatever happens, you can remind yourself of why you wanted to do that. So if you want to know what, what is our why? Do you know what our why is? Our why is because we didn't want to be in the rat race anymore. So yeah. we left it. Yes. And that's part of it. And also our age, you know, we're in yeah. our late fifties. So <laughs> late fifties. <laughs> okay. One of us is in our late fifties. <laughs> we're, we're both in our late fifties. Yes. Yeah. And, um, you know, when, as you get older, you kind of realize that when you're exchanging time for money, it's um, yeah. not as important. And so, yeah, I, I we, want more time. <laughs> we, we actually did this when we were younger. We actually did this when we were younger. Um, before before Chris and I got married, we took long trips all the time. We took we we took off up the Oregon Washington coast, mm -hmm. and then then we had kids. Kids were later, and then we yes yeah and they slowed us down a little bit. Um, okay, the other thing for let's go back and um, you know if you wanted to go on a long extended motorcycle trip. Another suggestion that we have is get your finances in order. Mm -hmm. You know, put, um, put, pay, put it, put pen and paper to it. Figure out what it's going to cost. Mm -hmm. Figure out how much you're going to need. You know, how much, what it, one thing I've learned is that how we really don't need a lot of money to survive. Correct. If do we you want to just survive or do you want to go on, you know, take the special, you know, jet boat tour through Moab and, or do you want to do, you know, what, what kind of adventure stuff do you want to do and how much is that going to cost? Make sure you mark all of that yes. and think about, you know, cell phone bill, internet charges, those kind of things. you got to all of insurance. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Health insurance, how much, how much you're going to need, what, all of that. Yeah. Let's start saving, put yourself on a budget. Um, you know, only you can figure out um, the things that you want to do when you're out on the road. If you just want to cover a bunch of miles or if you want to sightsee and, you know, put that touristy stuff mm -hmm. in your Here, budget. Here's a question. They, they, was it was it scary to sell, sell everything? No. It so was, that was part of, I mean, that's part, yeah. part goes in with all this. Yes. <clears throat> we, we put a date to it. So first thing you have to do is you have to put a date to it. You got to, you got to circle the calendar, make I've always said, if it's not for the last minute, nothing will get done. So if you get, <laughs> if you have, if you have it circled, you got to wait to the last minute. Everything gets yeah. done right at the last minute. Yeah. It gets done. So circle a date, 
make it now you you're thinking about it you're planning you're moving forward with all of the things i mean think about what happened to us we we had this plan for over a year almost nine months yeah nine, nine months. months well nine months not quite a year right yep. so nine months and we quit our jobs decided to fix let's finish fixing the house up and then selling the house so we quit our jobs three days later they shut the country down because of the pandemic yeah. so three days later they shut the country down and now we're like well is the house gonna sell will it make it what, what do we need to do so we just continued forward with our plan because no doors have been closed yet so mm -hmm. we continued forward with that and house sold right away and we have literally been on the road ever since yeah. Sorry about the light here. Let's yeah. see if we can move this. Hold on. Let's go that way. Okay. Sorry. Please hold. Okay. We're back. How's that? <laughs> Is that better? Okay. All right. Cool. All right. All right. How many miles do you like to ride in a day? You know, we travel differently than a lot of motorcyclists travel. And part mm -hmm. of it is because we're on an extended time period. Mm -hmm. uh, most of you guys go out and you have a week, a two weeks, maybe a month. But still, mm -hmm. you like to cover as many miles as you can. And we totally get it. With us, um, we prefer to travel between two and 300 miles on what we call moving day and find a <laughs> campground. Thanks, a Will. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> find a campground <laughs> and find, um, you know, a boondocking site and then settle in. And since it takes a while to open up Ruby and kind of set up home, we'll then, um, you know, explore the area. So, yeah. yeah so our, so our, to answer the question, if it, if we know where we're going and, you know, we have a spot picked, we may do 400 miles. We'll, we'll do more than normal. If we don't know where exactly we're going to camp or, we need to, you know, find a spot. Yes. We'll do maybe 250 miles. That way we can break down, set up camp, get out there and then look, look where we want to yes. go. Cause a lot of times I'll have to, I'll have to take off on Chris's bike and see if we can get the, even the Harley and the trailer down there. You yes. know, so. one, one day we did 730 miles <laughs> and that was, and that about ruined her. That's <laughs> <was> done. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next, qu mm. next question. Theft. Do we leave our stuff unattended? <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. So, yes, we are on high alert with, with theft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have never encountered it in a year, in almost a year and a half now. Um, we do, when we get into places, we, you know, if we're camping, we'll meet our neighbors and you kind of get a feel for where you are. So, it, we also always take all of our stuff with us, our, um, you know, our important stuff always yeah. goes with us. The key stuff, the, the, the cameras, the computers, all of that mm -hmm. stuff comes comes with us. But everything else in Ruby, I can you can access it from the inside and that's locked. Yes. So yes. And and we really go out and visit the neighbors. Yeah. We go hang out for a little while and say hi to them and kind of feel make sure that they're yeah. And so far we've been blessed with that. And yeah. you know I haven't we, had any really the world isn't as scary as I thought Not it was all. going to be. It's been, we have met the most oh. awesome salt of the earth people out there. Everyone. It just has restored my faith in mankind. That yeah. everybody you're watching is, the news all the time. Just, you're always going to be depressed. Everybody just wants to be so helpful. Yep. Everybody's helpful on it. It's really cool. All right. Do you miss your sticks and bricks house? No. Next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can say <laughs> here's, I, there are some things, yes, I absolutely yes, do yes. miss. I don't miss, you know, mowing and leaf raking. I don't miss all of the maintenance that was chewing yeah. up our weekends where we couldn't get out and go mm -hmm. riding and, and have fun because it was work all week and then work on the house all week. So I certainly don't miss that. But, yeah, I miss running water. I miss that that temperature gauge thing mm. on the wall that the says thermostat? yeah thermometer? <laughs> thermostat? it's hot so let's turn some air on or it's yeah. cold let's turn some heat on something so yes there are certain things yeah. that i do miss about that <laughs> all right what's the downsides of traveling well you know there's there's definitely more good than bad for sure yeah you know, I don't know if there's really a lot of downsides besides not having running water. Well, I think... <laughs> I mean, that's if, if one we of were, them. You if know? we were traveling in a hard side, it mm -hmm. wouldn't 
it would be a lot easier. The way we travel, we there are some downsides. We can't stealth camp. Can you imagine yeah. Ruby in a Walmart parking lot? <laughs> yeah, Reavers. Yeah. <laughs> that that would be a little weird. Yeah, so, or snuck back in some kind of, you know, little <laughs> secluded area behind it. Or how about right along the street? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would work. Right. Yeah, where you could do van life. So Exactly. Yes. So um traveling the way we're traveling, yes, it's a little bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. You got to be more prepared. You got to, I mean, not prepared, but you have to be patient with it. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. you have to be patient with what, what it is you're doing. Yes. And we have to be aware of where we're camping, you know, if we're in bear country, you mm -hmm. know, sometimes I think Ruby kind of smells like a whole steak dinner. So <laughs> exactly. Well, so with that said, you know, with that said, if, if we're in bear country, yeah, we got to handle, do all the food prepping and, you know, make sure food is up. 10 feet and yes. away from a a, a, a a tree, the 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 base of the tree. We handle all that, but after living in this thing for, you know, yes. if we live in it for, we've lived in it for now for what, since January, there's already funky smells in it. Yes. <laughs> you know, so. Richard's tastier than I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're faster? You're, fa no. You're saying just because I'm thicker? <laughs> Is that it? Some bear would be like, mm, you look good, honey. <laughs> hey there, bear. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what <do> you, <laughs> another question. What do you use to communicate um, between motorcycles? So. What we have is we have the Cena 10C Pro, and we that that it has the camera, it has the camera on it. That's the one that the Cena that has the camera on it. And the advantage of that, the reason why we use it, is I can put a uh, an SD card up in it. Yes. So all the audio that you guys hear when we're in our helmets and talking, I can manipulate that audio and make sure because my voice is much louder than Chris's. So I'll have to turn my volume down and turn hers up to make it make it good out in the editing and the post editing process yeah. you know? and it makes it so much easier i can't believe when we've all the writing that we've done you know i'd have to pull along side richard and you know motion yeah. gas tank or bathroom you know. <laughs> i have to go to the bathroom we yeah. would do this i have to go to the bathroom. well i would do that yeah i have to go to the bathroom yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this is so easy. It's like, I'm thirsty or I need a break. I got to get off this motorcycle or I have to, yeah, whatever. Or a lot of times we'll, um, you know, I'll alert Richard if there's a car coming, you know, there's a car getting ready to pass or, mm -hmm. or antelope. Yeah. We've, you know, riding up here, we've seen lots and lots of antelope lots along of the animals. side. And, and um, you know, until I told Richard, he's like, what, where? I haven't seen anything. Yeah. And my head's on a swivel all the time, but I'm, I, I guess I'm missing the antelope. I yeah. don't know. Same color or something. Yeah. All right, so uh, what's our biggest fear? Right now it's deer. Yeah. Yes. So we were at the MOA rally here in Great Falls, Montana, yes. and two people showed us videos of one showed us his bike. Shout out to Stephen Polk. Yes. Shout out to Stephen Polk. If he's lit, I, I don't know if he's here. He may not even be back yet. He's driving. He's driving, but he came, he hit a deer, and that deer hit him perfectly on his GS. And he just took it and literally coasted to the side. Yeah. Didn't even fall off the bike. Wearing lots of deer goo. But deer, the, he hit it right in the gut, and it was yeah. It was so yeah. So listening to those deer stories, poo all over him. Yeah. yeah so everywhere. Listen, you know the but when you talk about fear, um, other than the that that came up today, we try not to focus mm. on fear as much you know we get a lot of that fed to us from the media and, well, and it's we, you're already we've chosen a, a life of riding motorcycles there's yes. already an inherent danger involved yes. so the fear level is like we're already out there doing this <laughs> yes. you know so we try not yeah. to focus on that we try to focus on what's positive what's within our element of control and to focus on fear with is usually focusing on stuff that's beyond our control right so i kind of tune that stuff out uh, steve good to see you made it back did you steve poke made it back oh there it is. nice nice <laughs> okay. all right what steve polk is the one that hit the deer and it was a yes. mess it was uh very fortunate that they he hit it perfectly yes. i mean if it's to be hit it's hit perfectly <laughs> all right i'm up to our last question uh oh here so we go. uh we'll take questions from you mm -hmm. guys what have you discovered about yourselves in this year and a half adventure mm -hmm. okay so here's what i I've, I've been known to be loud 
No. No. You know, <laughs> really? <laughs> you know, fear and intimidation. So <laughs> the, the loud, <laughs> loud and, and aggressive sometimes. You're and mean. now I've learned since I play back some of these videos, I learned I'm like, wow, that sounded really mean. That really sounded crappy. I shouldn't have done that. So I've <laughs> I've toned that back and that's really helped me understand, like, look, it's not all about that. Well, you, know? you remind me of a like a what's a barking dog? All bark and no bite. Oh, really? All bark and no bite. Yeah. <laughs> Test that sometime, right? <laughs> no, no. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you wander around with a camera stuck in front of your face, and that's not just Richard. It's mm -hmm. also me. And you realize, boy, sometimes I sound pretty darn negative. So we really try to, um, we've really tried to change that mm -hmm. over the last year, and yeah, try we don't, to be more encouraging. If you notice. On a lot of our videos, I think Richard's super awesome about how he will, I'll get myself into what I think is a sticky situation on the motorcycle and start hyperventilating and stressing mm -hmm. out. And then Richard's calmly talking to me through the Cena and walking me through it. And then I get, I do it and I get to the end. And I'm like, that was, that was a piece, piece of cake. Yeah. What was, was I all stressed out about? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also think, um, that one thing that we've discovered is I think sometimes we think Richard and I think that we are owed that everything should be perfect. Everything should be okay. And no mm -hmm. bad thing should ever happen to us. No, they... And that's, we've definitely learned. I mean, we've lost a GoPro seven. We've lost a GoPro eight. eight. I don't know if we've filmed that yet, <laughs> but well, I don't... Richard lost the seven. Chris lost the eight. Yeah, yes. Was... We were heartbroken and worked through that. However, um, you know, we've had issues with Richard's motorcycle. We had mm -hmm. a huge issue with my motorcycle and it's really humbled us and realized that it, again, it's back to being prepared for when things happen and how mm -hmm. you're going to handle them. You know, you're going to, uh, you know, issue a bunch of um, curse words mm -hmm. and, you know, all yeah, that those, some, stuff those, or... <laughs> those get cut out or you've heard a couple of beeps because <laughs> Yeah, we're not perfect. Yeah, we're not perfect. <laughs> Please understand like, that. Yeah, as we, my as one of my sisters' towel says, I love Jesus, but I cuss a little. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so that was the extent of our questions that we thought you guys might be interested in hearing. Yeah. Do you guys have any questions for us? Well, here's one from Beamer W. Says both you do the video editing together, or mostly one of you doing that. So it's 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 both of us. Chris Chris organizes it gets it all organized and got kind of in somewhat of a story yes and then i bring it all into premiere pro and then cut out the ums and the ahs and make sure all the audio is all great good mm -hmm. we'll go over it one more time and make sure that the story is good mm -hmm. and then and then i'll fine tune it and do all the main editing yes. on it. yep all right, <laughs> sentence <is> enhancers <laughs> that's correct <laughs> There's so many different ways to use that word. Anyways, we'll go on with that. <laughs> oh, somebody's they, they, we've I've seen several questions asking about Alaska. We oh, want to be in Alaska. We wanted to do Alaska last year, but obviously couldn't do that. Yeah, this, year. this year we wanted to do it. We actually checked out it to see if we could take the ferry to Alaska. And we, you can. It's awesome. It's a three-day cruise. It's yeah. $6,000, and that's not in the budget. <laughs> So <laughs> it was not in the budget whatsoever. <laughs> so when Canada opens up and things kind of loosen up a little bit, then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll definitely make an adventure on there. We'll reassess. Yeah, yep. we'll reassess yeah. for sure. But I would love it. Helmets. Uh, another guy's been asking about helmets. Somebody, I can't remember who all the names are. So I apologize. Um, we have the showy Neotech 2 helmets and the Cena, the Cena 10C Pro uh, communication. Let me talk about the communication for a minute. Those, the thing I've heard with, or the thing I've, I've learned from the, the Cena's with any in, in helmet uh, stereo or speakers, the closer you get the speakers to your ears, pretend it's a over the ear headphones. Mm -hmm. The closer you get them to your ears, the less, not only the less wind noise, but the bass will go away the or the bass comes in better and everything else uh, sounds much better on it. Yes. Yeah. So get, add those little foam pieces and get those speakers as close as you can to your ears and they work really good. Yeah. Yes. All right. What other questions? They're going so fast that I think I'm missing some. I'm, yeah. I do apologize. <laughs> I, I have been looking into riding the Pan American. You know, I, yes. 
I would love to get an adventure bike. I really like Chris's GS, you know, but I'll, I'll well, one day, one day I, I tried to panic, put my foot down and I wheel kick that cylinder head. So not a fan of that cylinder head sticking out at all. So I would love to ride the Pan American and kind of keep the BMW Harley thing going. Uh, haven't been able to get a hold of anybody where as we're traveling through to get that that's done. that's been the biggest yeah that's the, as we're traveling through it th yeah things change so much you know yeah all that yes all right any what other else? questions uh where does retirement oh, my motorcycle I do apologize oh. yeah oh yeah that's on a utah video that hasn't come out yet we named my motorcycle gus Somebody made the suggestion, uh, capital G, small U, capital S. I thought it was perfect. Yeah. It uh, fits my motorcycle perfectly. That's, and she was riding Gus yeah. and I'm riding Alice. I am keeping tabs of, you know, because we had a lot of um, awesome feedback about how expensive BMWs can be. So I am keeping tabs of every, the, every detail, cost, every know. bit of cost and everything. Yes. Every, so all the oil changes, tires. Um, you know, the 12,000 ma mile maintenances, everything. And so we plan mm -hmm. on in the future uh, addressing that issue and seeing, you know, if it was, if it was the right choice mm -hmm. for us. I think it was. I like that bike. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she, she, she does love the bike. That's for sure. So there was a question on there. A couple of them I've asked about our relationship has, you know, we yeah. have been full time 24 seven all the time yes. together for a year and three months now yes. where before chris i used to travel a lot for work and about every 10 days or so chris would be like don't you have somewhere you need to go <laughs> i'm like oh yeah i guess i better go check on this service company so i go check on a service company yeah. for a while and you know we it's awesome i think i think <laughs> it I, is better I, I it is better it's better yeah <laughs> it's well i mean it's better it's better it's been great but it's even better <laughs> You know what I yes. mean? That's what I mean. It's even better. Yes, I think our relationship has gotten much, yeah. much. It, it's just awesome. But I think the other thing that we do do is we have our own separate hobbies. And when we realize we need some downtime, I'll go for a walk. I'll read a good book. Mm -hmm. Richard will go tinker on something. In fact, mm -hmm. just the other day, I was sitting laying in in um, in Ruby, laying on the bed. I'm like, I'm tired. I want to read a book. And and Richard's just chatting away. And I just look at him like. Shh. And he knows. And I'm He's like, like oh. oh, okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> so I'm gonna you, go. I'm gonna go see what else is going on. Yeah. So you do have to, you know, find your hobbies that you like to yeah. do, or remember your hobbies that you like to do by yourself, and go and do them. And it's just amazing when you get back together, mm -hmm. and it's like, okay, I'm refreshed. Let's. What's next? Let's yeah. go. Where are we going from here? Ah, what's next? What's next? What's What's next from? I mean, we have three minutes left. So yes. what's next from Montana all the way till we said Winter. we had plans and we had plans until January. Yes. So, so well, we'll finish it off with that. Okay. So from here, we are going to go explore the lovely state of Washington. We tried mm -hmm. to last year. We didn't get to it. Couldn't get to it. We're hoping to take the above Seattle. The, the above, plan. above C Seattle, where did um, Dave say we should go? Uh, Orcas Island. We're mm -hmm. hoping to take the ferry across and do some island hopping. And then we'll go uh, land in Port Angeles. Yeah, to, Port Angeles, which can take you in Canada, but you can't get there. Or get you over to the other island. Okay, so yeah. then when we'll explore the Olympic um, National Park. Mm -hmm. We'll circle back over to this area. We'll be at Sturgis for the week of Sturgis. Mm -hmm. After that, we'll meet our son. Our son, Max, is also going to, yes. he's coming up from Nashville and going to be with us at Sturgis. So that'll yes. be fun seeing him. Yes. He's 21. He's riding by himself. Yeah. So if there's anybody out there that wants to take a 21 year old under their wing, if they're coming up from coming Tennessee, up from I'm Nashville. sorry, it's the mama thing. <laughs> coming up from Nashville. Yeah. yeah. Coming up from Nashville. So, um, all right. So after Sturgis, we are going to head up to the upper peninsula of Michigan. Mm -hmm, the UP. Yeah, and I do apologize. There is a national park up there. I can't remember what it's called. Um, we'll obviously figure it out when mm -hmm. we get there. But there's a bunch. There's a cool ride up there, waterfalls and everything. We, we're hoping to get there before it gets cold. And we'll come down Michigan. Um, to your hometown. To my hometown of Muskegon, Muskegon. Michigan. We'll, we'll visit with family there. And then we're going to take the ferry across to Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. We're going to explore Wisconsin probably briefly. The goal is... Uh, there's a route along the great the river road the great yes. river road 
Yes. Yep. And so we're going to explore, you know, it's 3,000 miles it, because I guess it zigzags. And so we're going to hope to take that all the way down to uh, New Orleans. Hopefully, we'll, I can't promise we'll do the whole entire thing yeah. because, uh, you know, there's a lot of Delta land in there. And it's not just Delta Sea, but it's also bugs and temperature and, you know, cold ice prints and all that kind of stuff. So we got to, that's yeah. the plan is to come down the yeah. Great River Road, but we may kick off big back back and forth now you know. this whole thing that we just said might change and we might yeah be, one might not be doing any of it you know it's hard to <laughs> so, say because you know. we have a tendency we, it's like a squirrel you know it's like yeah. oh hey that's pretty over there let's go that way so which is the beauty of this lifestyle you know we're mm -hmm. not set to a route we do try to keep it somewhat um, yeah. in line awesome so we tried to keep this at 30 minutes. And, yep. You know, we love you guys. And you know what? We are just absolutely humbled that anybody we is met so watching. Many, <laughs> we met so many people at the BMW MOA rally. And it, it was it, it was overwhelming, the, the joy that we got. It was yes. it was so humbling. And, yeah. you know, it yeah. was if 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 Kim is out there, I, you brought a tear to my eye. It was <laughs> I was I was just excited. I didn't know what to say. She didn't know what to say. I didn't know yes. what to say. It was awesome. I wish we yeah. could meet each and every one of you guys. If you're in Sturgis, we will yes. we will try to do some type of meetup. I do apologize. We just haven't slowed down enough to figure it out. Well, out. we don't know what really is around there. So yeah. watch Instagram, Facebook, and the community page, and we'll we'll put the where we'll be in Sturgis, and we'll and we'll we'll make a meetup to where we can do a big meetup and you yeah. know have a beer together. Yes. So for sure. I hope you guys have some of your own awesome mm -hmm. um, writing chances this summer now that mm -hmm. a lot of things have opened up. Exactly. Um, real quick, we were we're gonna we're trying to do something with t shirts because we like oh, yeah, this yeah. we like this low you know, we have our logo, but we also like the we wanna add something to it and it's called It's Your Ride. Because it's not about us, it's about you guys, and it's mm. about um, the trips that you guys are going to take, whether it's a million dollar highway, mm. going to Colorado. Um, not only that, it's not only all the rides that you take, but it's also what you ride. Yes. It's your ride. Yes. Whether you ride the Harley Davidson or you should get a gold lane. Yes. <laughs> so or, or it's BMW. your ride, yes. whatever you're getting. Yes. So we're going to try to, um, if things can slow down just a little bit, we're going to try to do a limited a cam a cam a campaign. campaign. We're going to do a campaign through um, Bonfire. Bonfire. Yes. We'll do a limited campaign for, and for every t-shirt sold, we're going to give to a charity, charity organization in Denton, Texas that we know, but I haven't, communicated all this with them yet but yes. for sure a dollar from every shirt will be sold and we'll we'll run a campaign for two weeks and then we'll go so be watch out for that stuff we'll we'll get it out there and, and, and get going yes. all right but anyways keep the rubber side down shiny side up yes i all love right? you guys y'all be safe really um, love you guys man and you can email us at uh, two wheels big life at, at gmail.com gmail let us know about your summer plans and your summer adventures we love seeing the pictures and hearing the stories of where you guys are traveling to yeah you might awesome. give us some good tips and then we won't do any of anything that we said we're gonna go do what yeah. you guys say <laughs> <laughs> all right cool all right. all right man love you guys God see bless. ya bye